It's a new year, and that means a new agenda for your elected officials. But now certain issues, especially those regarding infrastructure in the Grand Strand and PD, have your elected officials pitted against those from the upstate and the Midlands. It's no longer Democrat versus Republican, but region versus region. That formula's got to change. All it took was one question at the legislative workshop in Columbia to change the dynamic from representatives facing the media to representatives facing each other. I-73 is not just about Ori County. In one corner, Democratic State Senator Yancey McGill, representing much of the area for the proposed, controversial, and potentially costly Interstate 73. In the other corner, State Senate Majority Leader Harvey Peeler from the upstate. I asked one question about Interstate 73 and infrastructure funding, but the conversation quickly turned into who deserved the money more. 864 and 803 makes it, and 843 spends it. That formula's got to change. That formula's got to change. What began as an argument down party lines quickly blurred with Democratic Representative Harry Ott of Orangeburg throwing his head into the ring. I, I want to make sure the press gets this. I agree with Senator Peeler. We've got to do a better job working with DOT to make sure we get those priorities in the right place. I-73 has garnered controversy even within the Grand Strand and PD, in part because of its high price tag. Senator Peeler thinks the money should go to projects like the maintenance of I-26 in the upstate, saying the money the Grand Strand uses for infrastructure comes from the upstate anyway, so it should stay in the upstate. My constituents go to Myrtle Beach. That's where they go to vacation, most of them do. My constituents are paying, you are spending it on uh, Coastal Carolina, Fort Georgetown Tech, uh, road funding, so I hope that answers your question. Some issues are split strictly down party lines, but others are a little more fuzzy, especially in the case of SEDOR hacking, with some representatives wondering, is it cheaper to continue Experian and credit monitoring, or is it cheaper to find an alternative and make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again? In the State House, Will Whitson, WMBF News.